Today we embark on a dream vacation of ours here in St. Thomas. We had the opportunity to experience a charter on Sail Luna to show you exactly what the experience will be like when you charter a private boat in the Caribbean. Sail Luna is a 45 foot catamaran complete with all the modern amenities you need for a perfect, luxurious private vacation. Whether you're lounging in a hammock at sunset with a cocktail or hiking in the beautiful trails of St. John, it's all up to you. You have so much access here. And right now we just arrived at Maho Bay, which is famous for turtles. And I can't wait to jump in the water. How excited are you? Let's go snorkeling. You ready to go? Yes. Let's do it. Turtle. Turtle time. Oh my gosh, Maho Bay, put it on your bucket list. I've never seen so many turtles just naturally swimming around and eating. This is, this is amazing. That was absolutely incredible. We saw so many turtles out there and they were so friendly. I mean, they just swam right up next to you and one of the best experiences I think I've ever had. I'm so excited, but honestly, you could really come to this bay with any boat, but what you can't do with any boat is sail. So that's what we're gonna do next. <laughs> cockpit this is the captain's quarters and we're here talking to Neem about how he got into sailing and what makes this an amazing sailboat. As a kid I, I used to sail like say, small boats after my military service I worked as a dive master in Thailand for a year and I remember we were in this remote location between Thailand to Burma and suddenly there was a sailboat with a couple passing just by behind the, the island. I was fascinated I said oh my god this is what I need to do totally remember this moment this was destiny uh, yeah this was it just had to happen so, that's amazing yeah. and so what makes sail luna so special well fabi and i we we enjoy the hospitality part we enjoy meeting new people we enjoy cooking we enjoy hearing new stories and telling stories so it's it's amazing me because every single time we say you come as a guest and you deliver a friend, which we feel for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we feel the same. <laughs> and uh, and it really this is this is what we like the most about this adventure because it's just us, you know. You, you come to our home and enjoy it with us. I love that. That's amazing. It's so true. This is I, I might never leave. I mean I don't know. <laughs> so you guys take we us already off. Took a bus <laughs> <one. laughs> <laughs> might just. Stay here forever. <laughs> I love that. So one last question. Yeah. What is your favorite part of this boat? Oh, 
I would say this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I, I spend most of the day. I, I can see everything then I love it. Cool. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us. I think we're going to do a tour of the boat. Speaking of favorite places on the boat, because I have a lot of them. So let's check it out. We're giving you a full tour of this amazing vessel, starting with our favorite lounge spot here at the front of the boat, with these two amazing nets and a full seating area that looks out over the incredible view. What you'll notice on the front of the boat as well is there is a kayak and multiple paddle boards and snorkel gear that is totally included in the charter. And it's the most amazing way to explore the water literally right next to you. As we head on over to the back of the boat, you'll see this awesome lounge space on top as well. Great tanning deck, great cocktail deck, and the outside continues with the back of the boat. We have like an interior space, totally protected and covered from the sun. We have this amazing dining table another little lounge spot great for dinner breakfast lunch all of our meals actually on this boat but let me take you inside along the way you'll see the cockpit this is where the captain spends most of his time and it also has a great view when you're sailing around there is an interior dining area as well personally we haven't used it because we just love sitting outside but this is where the chef does her best work it's an awesome gourmet kitchen I mean look at this Look at this range. There's an oven, dishwasher, uh, stove, and multiple fridges and freezers. There's even a TV. It took us about two days to even notice that it was here, but they do have it available. So if you want to watch that Netflix, you can. And we're going to head down to the cabins. So there are three cabins on this boat. So you can have three different couples. You can have family or friends come along. And they're both the same on both sides. The two rooms are a little bit different. When you do get downstairs, I'll show you our cabin first. And when you come in, it's actually pretty spacious for a boat. I mean, this bed is extremely comfortable and it fits us both very well. There's lots of storage space in these cabins as well. So great for hanging clothes, decent amount of storage, shoe drawer as well. And actually the bathroom is pretty impressive. So we have this full shower, got the sink and the toilet, you know, a little compact for two, but one at a time works perfectly for us. And they even have eco-friendly products, which I love. And I'll show you the slight differences on the other cabin, which is right across the hall. And I'm going to show you my favorite feature of this room last. But just like with the other cabin, you've got a really spacious bed, so much storage space, closet space, ample space for your shoes, and as well as the same exact uh, bathroom as the other room. But my favorite feature, it's almost like being in the Maldives. You've got a little hole in the floor that you can look at the fish. So this is a great room, especially if you have kids, because that's just like a really cool feature. All of the rooms do have AC and they are extremely private. Doors lock on both sides and all of the power in this boat is supplemented by solar power, which is so cool. They even desalinate their own water on this boat. So that has been our boat tour of this beautiful 45 foot catamaran. I think it's just about time for a sunset cocktail. What do you guys think? An amazing day it has been. Sailing is just one of the most majestic experiences, honestly. And we saw turtles today. I mean, just honestly, it couldn't have been better. But one of the best parts about being on a boat like this is that even though they have amazing food on the boat and they have such an incredible chef, we're actually able to also go to other surrounding islands and go check out some of the local restaurants. So tonight, that's what we're gonna do. We're going to a place called Lavongo Beach Club. It's a hotel in development, but they also have an awesome beach club that they're super famous for. So we're gonna have dinner there and it's literally right there and they pick you up on a dinghy. And, and you know, I think that's kind of cool. We're literally moored here for the night. We're just gonna head in and yeah. go have a fabulous meal.
Okay, today's plan is we're starting off with a little hike here in St. John. St. John's actually amazing. I didn't even realize this was part of the island, but there's literally nobody here. There's barely any boats and there's some beautiful hiking right along the edge of the water and up to the top of the hill. So I'm really excited to check it out. Max is packing the camera gear right now. Getting everything ready. ready. to go. Captain's Ex taking extra us. Extra water in case the captain decides to leave us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> Bay, which is the bigger bay, Watermelon Bay, and we're gonna head right up here to these ruins. Is kind of the first stop on our adventure. How hard is this trail? You consider it like a nice, mild, moderate grade. Uh, we never wear shoes, so it's really easy to do in flip flops. If you're not a big hiker, I'd probably wear some sneakers, but it is beautiful and pretty easy to get up here, so definitely worth it. Meh. 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 Is that our boat over there? Leaving us? Right yeah. There? Is that our boat? I think they left us behind. Oh no! <laughs> they were sick of oh, us! <laughs> just kidding. We're just few. There's another trail that goes up. I'm like debating if this is the ruins or we're supposed to keep going. All this hiking is making me hungry. I literally can't wait to see what Bobby is cooking up. I know, I'm the same way right now. I am starving and every meal that we have had on this boat so far has been fantastic. Honestly, it's such a great thing that we can be hiking up here and she's working on lunch. I know. Like, how great is that? Like, it really doesn't get better than that because otherwise we'd be cleaning the boat, we'd be getting yep. lunch, we'd yep. be doing all that, but with Luna, you kind of have all of that, which is a pretty sweet benefit. I love it. We are so lucky to get to talk to Fabi right now about her cooking and what got her inspired to cook and be part of this charter experience with amazing food for guests. So we're about to have lunch, but before we do, I want to learn a little bit more about Fabi. Okay, Fabi, what inspired you to become a chef in the first place? So cooking has been my passion since I was a very little girl. I grew in a home with amazing cooks. Uh, surprisingly, my father was a great cook. He invited me to cook with him all the time. It used to be my hobby and now I'm so, so grateful and that this is what I do for a job. I love that. That's such a nice reason to become a chef. What kinds of food can guests expect on a charter? A few weeks before the charter, we send our guests a preference sheet. It's a questionnaire and it has questions that are related to the itinerary and also to food preferences. And we gather all that information. We try to learn as much as we can from our guests uh, before they join us. We plan their itinerary and their menu customized, fully customized to what they like. And if someone in the group doesn't like cilantro or doesn't like avocados, we can do individual customization so everyone is happy, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. And, yeah. and in terms of, you know, what your personal style is, you mentioned local and fresh. Yes, we try to get the freshest and uh, nicest uh, products available. So we design the menu and, and go provisioning and uh, we go to different places to provision. We have our specialty shops and then the local markets. Yeah, I mean, the food has been amazing so far. I can definitely feel the freshness and the yeah. local feeling. Yeah, it's a perfect boat for foodies. We love having food. Yes. yes. And, um, and the best is when people, they're open to trying new things and open to new, new dishes and then just Whatever I think it's great, they're sure that they will love it too. So. That's amazing. And kind of on that note, you know, one of the questions I know people are going to want to know the answer to is can you cater to special dietary restrictions and allergies? This is one of the questions that we ask on the questionnaire that we sent out to our guests prior to the charter. They have the chance to explain any dietary restrictions or, or food allergies. And of course, we, we customize the menu taking that into consideration. I love it. What does all-inclusive actually mean? Because I know you guys sell all-inclusive charters. Does that include all your meals and Yes, beverages? yes. Our charters include all breakfasts, all lunches, all dinners, snacks, and standard ships bar. And my my husband, Captain Nim, he's uh, our bartender and, and grill master. So <laughs> grill master he also sometimes, Yes, a <laughs> Yeah, it's all-inclusive. All meals are included. 
That's amazing. And do you do like pancakes for breakfast or yes. do you try and keep it light or? So it depends on the guest. Uh, that's also another one of the questions in dietary. If they would like hearty breakfast or more light or alternate between hearty and light. Yeah, that, yes. that's amazing. And my personal favorite is the fact that we might be grilling lobsters tonight. Yes. Um, so that sounds like something you can do as well. And last question, I promise, and then I'll let you serve the food. What is your personal favorite meal of all time to serve on a charter? So we get that question asked a lot and it's always hard. I think me personally, I love the tacos and I think you can ask all of our previous guests. This is one dish that everyone raves about every single time I serve it. You'll, you'll get to try it soon, I'm let me know. I am very excited and it all just see, it feels so delicate and beautiful, Thank so you. colorful yes. as well. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your prepping and serving to interview with us. And I am starving. Let's go eat. Well guys, this is where we leave you. It has been an amazing experience and it's our final night here and it's just it's such a beautiful, beautiful place. We honestly cannot recommend the experience of being on a sailboat more. It is so incredible to be out here on the water and whether you're chartering your own boat or you're interested in going for a fruit boat, there's so many opportunities out there. Now Sail Luna is just one boat and they fill up seasons in advance very quickly. So if you are interested, make sure to go check out their website. We've linked it in the description below. If they aren't available for the particular dates that you might be interested in, or you want to learn more about just charters in general, General, whether it's motor charters or say other sail charters we've also linked another website in the description below be sure to go check that out there's tons of opportunities to be able to get out here on the water whether it's on a boat like this a catamaran a smaller boat a bigger boat really whatever you're looking for so if you like this video be sure to give us a thumbs up and of course if you don't already make sure to hit that subscribe button and go check out our website at voyagergrew.com where we have much more information about experiences like this as well as hotels and adventures around the world and if you already followed us on instagram you'd already have seen our entire adventure here unfolds if you don't already follow us at voyager guru but for now it's time to get a cocktail and enjoy our last night on this beautiful boat as always i'm marin and i'm max and we're voyager guru see you out there